Hi guys! So let me help you understand further on how to watch the readings. So remember, this is going to be based on Vedic sidereal astrology, not Western. So if you're watching this from your sun sign, then the resonance of the energy will be happening on a soul level. Now, if you are watching this from your ascendant, then from ascendant, it's happening towards the physical manifestation of the reading. And then, if you are watching this on your moon sign, then this is going to be resonating from your feelings, your mind, and your thoughts. Now, for the people who are looking for that masculine energy, then you would have to look for Jupiter in your chart so that you will know how the energy works. And then, if for the people who are attracted to the feminine energy, then you would have to look for Venus. Now, do remember that Venus also rules the energy of the relationship, so that would be also helpful for you. Now that you guys are all set, thank you very much, and let's begin with your reading. Hi, Leo. So let's start your reading. Um, but for all your gem needs, uh, check out my website, eatreadlove.me. It's a party over there. Might as well sign up to our email list so that you get discount on your extended if you like to watch extended reads. <laughs> so let's begin over here. There's four tarot decks here. You won't see it. It's magical. Okay, so let's begin here for my Leos. Let's see what's going on. Um, where are you guys? Here we go. Leos. Wow. Wow, you guys are on a zone, definitely. Okay, a little bit hesitation, Leos. What are we hesitant about? Okay, what are we thinking? Nine of coins. Okay, being independent, taking care of myself, you know. Um, this is a... Uh, very mercurial you're probably going shopping okay um you know it's like there's some there's a message that you wanna because this is a messenger okay you could be messaging someone or talking to someone like you're gonna go shopping you're going out um this is also coming into terms with self-confidence okay so I'm, nothing that you don't have but you are building it like you're there like i want to be ready for that person because the ten of pentacles is next right as a birth card of the read that's good because it shows here that you're not scared you're not uh, there's no paranoia you know it's like you're who uh, that's good independent let me see here let's see what's next here Leo's get a star card oh hello someone far from you because that's 11th house natural um, but this is 7th house also for you 11th house Aquarian is also long distance this is a long distance relationship, basically what I'm saying. Um, you're very hopeful that things are gonna come a long way. You know, whoever is in the whoever you're dating in the seventh house, because it's Aquarian. Okay. This is feeling destined with this person. Someone here is like doing some moon bathing, you know, cleansing of energy here, purifying themselves. Someone here is also getting ready. Um, you know, I feel like someone is just like, oh, I want to be sexy for this person. I want to look good. I want to have the works. You know, it's like when I show this, you know, I have to blip it. When I show this ASS, I want it to work, 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 work. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want to work with this person right here. Because mm. that's a star I feel here. You're doing some sort of regimen, you know, be pretty and gorgeous, divine. You know, that star card is gorgeous. Okay. Being enlightened also, listening to your intuition right now. Let me see here. Five of Wands, okay. There is a lot of people contradicting this whole independent and being drawn to someone. The Five of Wands here, I feel like it's a struggle for you. Know, like you're battling things out. Like, listen, I want to do this and all of you guys are not in my vibration. You can be friends, family, you know. There are people obstructing what you want to do, what you feel destined to, okay? They can be saying, no, don't do that. No, you're crazy, you know? Like, you know, it can be anything. It can be the person that you're dealing with. There's a lot of obstruction right now. Five of Wands for me is like Yelp review. Unsolicited, irritating, about to shut down. That's true. 
That's the up right there. Mm -hmm. Next to the five ones, ace of cups. You see, someone is trying to get to you, Leo. But there is something, you know, going on between the two. It can be like if there's nothing obstructing disagreement. Ace of Cups, love is on, on the way towards you. You could have done this to this person also. You're the first um, Zodiac, I feel, who got the Ace of Cups. So someone is in love with you, can be Scorpio here. This Scorpio is the dove also to transformation. But this is a Scorpio who's already transformed, just saying. Oh, like that's, that's a dove. We love you. Overwhelming because the transformation happened from the lotus, from murky water, to the from the mud to something pretty. Ace of Wands, steamy, meaning this is normally this is Gandanta point for me. So the because this is a uh, fire and water, so it can be the uh, how to say this the Scorpio Sag, the Cancer Leo, the Aries Pisces, the in betweeners of the zodiac. Okay, but this is about emo uh, spiritual awakening also because that's the Gandanta. Okay, mm. ending of karmic ties, soul ties has happened already. Let's see here what's going on. Because it's a new beginning between you and this person. Very passionate. I feel like after you've gone, you know, like you collected your self-confidence, you're ready. Ten of swords. You bury things, you know, like you left things behind already. You're saying goodbye to old things. Mm -hmm. but whatever that you were worried before, you don't want to be there already. Five of Pentacles. While you were doing this, I feel like the other, you know, like you guys were not talking. When you were ending a you know a part of your life, a chapter of your life, because Tenosaurus is a chapter right there. Okay, the person that you have been with or with right now don't know what to do without you. Five of Pentacles, they're scared of losing you if there was a breakup. But three of Wands here, you remain hopeful here. You basically feel like, or they feel that there is a strong chance for you guys to be together after all this contradicting energy has been worked out. Okay, which it shows, yes, there's the full card. There is a big chance. 50-50, traveling to see you, willing to risk it all. Now, the full card also shows an adventurous type. Can be a Pisces. There is a Six of Cups. So, reconciliation is at hand. It's right here. Okay. So, someone coming back from the past from you. I feel like this is a person who you are also always thinking about good memories. You're thinking it's like only if this person will give this a uh, try, a chance. Let me see here. Under the Knight of Pentacles. You got a Knight of Swords. You're coming out of that whole I'm independent. You want to tell this person. Let's see what you're going to tell this person. King of Coins, what do you want to offer me? That's what, that was straightforward right there. They offer you everything. King of Coins, stable relationship, committed relationship. Um, this is a Capricorn energy. Okay, there's a communication between the two of you on how to make the relationship because this is uh, the first court card. So meaning um, the energy is strong because it's king coming towards you under the star card. Someone wants to give you all whatever you've been wishing for. Nine of swords with a five of swords. Like when you guys were not talking, both of you were scared or they were scared about what will come to this. But the ten of swords is here. Basically, you were um, fixing some stuff or closing a chapter of your life. The tower, okay, destiny is here. This is my destiny point. We call it like Brigo Bindu, meaning there is something, you know, in it's a computation between your Rahu and your moon that every time a planet transits on it, okay, or movement, it influences it. And, you know, it's like can be a new lover coming towards you or this is a new, uh, you know, love being um, birthed, okay? So the worry is over. If this person was worried, all, the, what, all that is that they were waiting is for you to extend love. Seven of Cups because things were confusing. Okay. So either you were confused or they were confused. The Seven of Cups is like they were stuck in an illusion. And now, Four of Cups energy here. Someone is just waiting for that cup of love, which is here more than ever. Meaning, happy family is here. But, you know, it's like there was some, there was a point between the two of you if there was a falling apart. Okay. That you guys couldn't see. That if there is still love between the two of you, but the Ten of Cups, the worst is over. Five of Swords, okay, that's where it went south. Arguments, bickering, miscommunication, but Six of Cups again. I forgot who got the two Six of Cups, uh, three Six of Cups. But you got here, you know, reconciliation, 
Yeah, expressing their feelings and love towards you. Soulmate card, of course. Six of Wands. Wanting to have a successful reunion to you. Okay? Something here is a big change. Destiny is changing. Okay? So I'm going to continue this reading. Leo, as we get more deeper into the situation, as this is just the surface, we'll dig deeper. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Card. Okay. So you felt like there is something fated and destined between the two of you. This person, swords, they come to you. Wheel of Fortune again. Okay, so two fated cards. Uh, energy, okay? Let me see. Underneath the Four of Cups. They're very red. Take over, scene 15, take one. The world can use more silence. There's too much noise that drowns the wisdom that lies unbidden in silence. It's not entirely our fault. We grew up realizing that making a sound gets us what we want. Infants crying when they are hungry, bored, need of a diaper change, or sick. They get what they want when they make some noise. So our instinct is to talk or ask someone to talk when we want something from them. When we want a response, when we want a reaction, when we want their attention or even forgiveness. When the other person doesn't reply, we interpret that as anger or coldness, but silence could simply mean they are healing. It is in silence that we hear our most enlightening thoughts. It gives us the opportunity to hear what our heart, our mind, and spirit is really telling us. Walking away from the chaos doesn't mean escaping or abandoning the people. It means we are reconnecting to the deepest part of ourselves. Every moment, we spend for ourselves is a time of healing. Someone is not talking, someone is healing.